I started Nomadness, the Travel Tribe, September 2011. We went on our first group trip January of 2012. It only took three months for us to really get things going. I had no interest in the beginning on creating group trips or even necessarily turning it into an LLC. It was something that happened. What you'll find in the business realm is a lot of times they'll tell you to come up with a product and then you have to find your audience and have that product go to your audience. What I did was the complete opposite. I built my audience and then I created the product based on what they wanted and what they needed. I didn't go to school for business. I don't have a master's in anything, an MBA. I'm a creative that came up with an idea and executed on it. Yeah. In my group, members connect to share advice, photos, stories, do's and don'ts of all the countries that they've been to around the world. And what they don't talk about online, they talk about in person at one of our many international meetups or on our group Nomadness X travel trips that my team plans. Loving the energy at North Carolina A&T right now. Now it's time to talk stereotypes in my night session with the students that have shown up. All right, now here's a question for you. Because I think many people make the assumption that going to an HBCU, you're kind of made up with the same student body, that there's no stereotypes on this campus. Little safe down. Um, what are some stereotypes that you've had to battle with being at an HBCU? Uh, I'm glad North Carolina represented they did. the they way did. that they did. They did. Um, and especially North Carolina a and It's a special kind of school mm -hmm. and one of the sister schools that I work with. Yeah. So we're from uh, North Carolina Central. Yeah. So I was really, really enthused and happy that they showed up the way yeah. they did. Yeah, and the facility and, uh, is insane. Yeah, awesome, awesome campus. Awesome it was like a theater. Campus. Yeah, awesome it campus. It was great. Yeah. But I think that's good to get this gener our generation to do it because it's just like they, they don't know the possibilities yeah because like we even went here well, yeah we, here. we went to the classes yesterday students are like well how much did it cost like yeah because that's the first ones. thing with but our community we don't have any i don't have yeah. broke like, for five bro i yeah. 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 broke for five bro that's what i told them i said in the first in the first um presentation i was like i went from being a broke college student to a broke world traveler yeah. and you just find a way to make that's it happen right. just find a way to make it go back yeah. That's the thing because like A and T has a really good office of international programs. Yeah, it is. Like it is so hold it the, down. The bad thing about it is like our students don't know. Right. Yeah, because like we travel for when free. My, when my, um, one of my one best friends, be yeah, one of my program. best friends went here, and she was in Paris an entire semester. I'm just remembering that she was here when she did that. Who was it? Yeah, my friend Asia. She's in the chat. Yeah. Yeah. No she man. she went to E and T. No she went no to Paris man. for an entire semester. Yeah. She had like the best time of her entire life. It yeah. is, but it's yeah. life changing. It is life it is. changing. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I was telling her like I went to Brazil, and it's just like it was the best yeah. and worst like experience mm -hmm. because like my whole you know outlook on life changed yeah. for the good yeah. but the yeah. bad thing is my whole outlook on yeah. life has changed and now it's, you're like, yeah. it's, it's like okay that's like, how I, I got to feed it and my yeah. yeah. travel yeah. parents are just like can't you just get a job like what are you doing like you graduated last year like why don't you have a real job and I'm like you're going to make mistakes, you're going to have bumps, you're going to go up and down, but what you need to make sure first and foremost is that whatever business you're looking into getting involved in starting, that your passion is into it. Because I'm going to tell you right now, there's a couple givens that are going to happen. One, you're going to be broke. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it real Already there. <laughs> you're going to be broke. You may be more broke. <laughs> And the reason why is because you're going to end up putting everything into it. And at the end of the day, where you're looking around and you're logging into your bank account and your bank account's looking at you, you looking at it. <laughs> and it's looking back at you. You have to know that there's something else that's bigger and better out there that's fueling you than money. If money is your motive, that's going to die down. And as soon as you hit a bump in the road, you're like, I'm jumping shit. And if that's the case, save yourself the energy, the time, and the money, and don't even do it. Yeah. No madness. No madness. No madness. No madness. Sound good, son. <laughs>